Hey everyone, it's Cole from Easy Crypto here, and today we got a brand new Trezor One that we'll be unboxing, setting it up, and we're going to show you how to send and receive crypto. We also have two Trezor Ones that we'll be giving away. Follow our socials and stay tuned for that giveaway. So let's get into the unboxing of the Trezor One. So here's our Trezor One. I'm going to grab this here and just open the packaging. Okay, so it's out of the plastic and here is the box. So this part's really important. You have to make sure that these uh, haven't been tampered with. So you can check these holographic stickers and if they look like they've been peeled off or they look damaged, you can return this to Trezor and they should give you a new device. So let me open these holographic stickers here. So the holographic seal there is broken. And wow, this is really hard to get out. Okay, getting this box open is really a mission. So what I did was just tear the top open here and now we can pull out our treasure one. So that's everything that it comes with. Let's let's see what we got here. Okay, first of all, we have two your personal recovery seeds uh, papers here. So you can write down your private key. You get two of these. You get a getting started guide and you get a whole lot of stickers. You get this keychain, Trezor keychain. You get a very, very short cable, <laughs> and you get the actual device here, the Trezor One. It comes with a protective seal on the top there, so we're just gonna go and peel that off. So there's the device. Okay, my Trezor One is out of the box and we have everything ready to get it set up. So all you need to actually do the setup is the device, you'll need the cable, and you'll need these recovery phrase sheets to write down your 24 words. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to actually plug your Trezor One in. So now it says on the screen, welcome, please visit trezor.io forward slash start. So we're gonna, gonna head over to any browser of your choice, I'll be using Brave. And you just want to go to trezor.io forward slash start. Okay, so now it's going to ask you which device you have. Obviously, I have the Trezor 1, so I'm just going to click that there. And then it's going to ask you to make sure you check your holographic seal there, like we did earlier, and continue to audit. it. Okay, the next thing you want to do is head over to try installing the Trezor bridge. And you're just going to want to choose whatever you're downloading it on and hit download latest bridge. Okay, so the bridge is downloaded. I'm going to just install it here. Okay, so as you can see here, the installation was successful. So I'm going to hit close here. And then our bar mistake went back, so I'm just going to hit Trezor Bridge here again and say install firmware. Cool, so now on my device it says installing, please wait. Okay, and it says new form firmware successfully installed. You may now unplug your Trezor, so I'm going to unplug it and then plug it right back in. So it says update finished successfully, please reconnect the device. So I'm going to do that one more time. Take it out and plug it back in. And there we go. Cool, so the next step is either if you already have a private key that you want to recover, you'll hit recover wallet here. But if you need to create a new wallet, like we'll be doing today, you hit create wallet. Okay, so it says your treasure is ready, but it is not backed up. So this is really important, you don't want to skip this step. You're going to make sure that you have your Trezor backed up. So we're going to hit create and backup in three minutes. 
and we're going to go through this process. So it's going to give you all these warnings. Do not take a photo of your recovery seed. Do not store it on a computer. Do not save it in cloud storage and etc etc. So what you want to do is write this down and keep this somewhere very safe. Okay, so I'm going to hit I understand and I agree and go continue. Okay, so now it's going to give me my private key on the device. And you're going to want to write down every word that it gives you. You can see here, my first word is piano. So I just write piano here. And then we're going to go through all 24 words. So to go to the next word, you just hit the right button here. And it will give you the next word. Okay, so as you can see, my 24th word here is gas. So I've written all my words down. And I'm going to just go here. Okay, so now it's going to make sure that you've written down your private key correctly. So you just want to confirm that this is the same as the key you've written down. And if it is, you're just going to hit next until you've gone through all your words. Okay, so our device is officially backed up. I'm going to click continue. Cool, and now it's going to ask me to enter a pin on my device. So I would like to set a pin, so I'm going to hit confirm here. And now it's going to say, please enter new pin. So as you can see here, this will match your screen. And then these numbers correspond with your computer. So when you choose your pin, you're going to have to do it not how you usually would. For example, if I want the pin 1234, I'll show you how I would do that. Okay, so I'm going to do 1 which is over here, then 2, which is down here, 3, and 4. Then click Enter Pin, Then it's going to ask you to re-enter it, and it's going to reshuffle the numbers on your Trezor device. So as you can see, the numbers have been shuffled around, and it's asking me to confirm my pin, so I'll go ahead and fill in 1, 2, 3, 4 once more. Please keep in mind the password 1234 isn't all too strong. I'm just doing this for this video's sake. And also, you should not give your pin out to anyone. I am also just doing that for this video's sake. So there, it says, good job, your pin is set. We're going to hit continue. Continue. Now it's going to say, name your device. So you can do it whatever you want. I'm just going to say, my Trezor. And hit confirm. Cool, so now it's going to say uh, enter your PIN, so I'm going to enter the 1234 that corresponds with the numbers on the Trezor screen here, so it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and enter PIN. Now it says here, do you really want to change name to my Trezor on the device? So I'm just going to go here and hit confirm. Okay, so Trezor says I chose a wonderful name. Thank you, Trezor. I'm going to go over here and hit continue. Continue. I've already done this. Alright. Okay, so I'm having a bit of a problem here. It says you chose a wonderful name, and then I hit continue. And then it's asking me to name my device again. Over and over. Let me try change the name. Confirm action, yes. You chose a wonderful name, continue. There we go. So the name My Trezor didn't work for some reason. Okay, so now it's saying protect yourself from phishing attacks. Bookmark Trezor wallet to avoid visiting fake sites. Use the keyboard shortcut Command D. So I'm just going to click continue. And it's going to ask me for my email address. I'm going to skip this. And yeah, I'm not really interested in following them right now because I already do. So let's go continue. And there we go. Awesome. You're all set up. Your Trezor is ready to go. And let's hit finish. The Trezor Model 1 also has a really cool feature where if you head over to your device over here, and then you head over to home screen, you can actually pick a home screen that will go on your device. So right now I have the honey badger but you can always change it okay so let's say for example i wanted uh, let's say the bitcoin logo i just click it and then hit set as home screen and then you're going to want to confirm it on your device by clicking this button 
and there you go so as you can see right now i have the bitcoin home screen but if i wanted to change it i'll do it on trezor's website then i'll hit confirm and there we go so there's so many you can choose from we can also do the the genesis block message or we could do my personal favorite the honey badger there it is so there's a whole lot of wallpapers you can choose from uh, but if you also want to upload your own one you can here or you can use Trezor's home screen editor okay so our device is set up now I will show you how to send and receive crypto so first we're gonna have to receive because we have no crypto on here yet obviously but if you click here you can see all the coins that uh, this Trezor wallet supports but the actual Trezor device will uh, support more coins so if you want a coin that isn't here I'll show you how you can find a suitable wallet for that okay so to see the coins that they support you're gonna want to head over to the Trezor website and scroll down 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 until you see this screen here so you want to click where it says coins and tokens under Trezor 1 and so we're gonna hit here and then it will show you all the wallets that you can use so as you can see here for a coin like Bitcoin Cash it's on the Trezor one and you can do it through Trezor, Electron Cash or Exodus another example would be Dash Trezor does support it but you can also use it on DMT, Dash Electrum, Exodus and Magnum okay so to receive Bitcoin we're gonna hit receive here and then it's going to give you your address. So I'm just going to show full address. And then it's going to say, please check it on your device. So I'm going to confirm that this is correct. As you can see, it does match. So I'm going to hit continue. Okay, so here is my address. Um, I'm just going to double click there and copy it. Okay, so now we've got the address that we need to send our Bitcoin or crypto to. So if you were using Easy Crypto right now, you would want to paste that address where it asks you for your address at checkout. Okay, so I have sent Bitcoin to this address. We are just going to wait for it to come through. And there we go. Okay, so the Bitcoin is here, as you can see, if I click here on my account, transactions, there it is. Plus 0 0.0009 Bitcoin, around $10. Okay, so that's how you receive. Now we're going to show you how to send. So to send, obviously, you're going to want to hit send over here. And then now it's going to ask you for the address, amount, and fee. So I'm going to get an address. One second. Okay, so I have the address I want to send to. So I'm going to open my notes here and copy this. And we're going to go and paste this into the address bar here. Now it's going to ask you for the amount. I'm just going to send all and it's going to give you the us dollar value you can change this if you want i am from south africa so i'll do czar cool and now it's going to ask you for a fee so uh, you can choose a custom fee uh, i don't need this bitcoin urgently so i'm going to do very very low this may take very long but as you can see my fee is very low if i put that in um, us dollars you can see i've got a much lower fee than if i were to go high so I really don't need to wait for this. I'm going to go low and click send. And it's signing. So now next it's going to say, please confirm the transaction output on your device. So we're going to head over to our Trezor device here. Cool. And as you can see, it says confirm sending the amount of Bitcoin to that address. So I'm just going to hit confirm. It's going to ask you to confirm one more time. I'll hit confirm. And there we go. It is sent. So as you can see here, the Bitcoin has officially been sent. And if I click details over here, you can view your transaction in the Block Explorer. So we've showed you how to set up your Trezor device, and we've showed you how to receive and how to send. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Cheers.